Hey everybody, it's me again. It's Johnny. I'm gonna talk to you about this narcissistic garbage people that exist in the world, especially in this country, the United States of America. They'll do anything to keep control of you, to manipulate the situation, to lie to family members, they'll be nice to you. They'll 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 praise you to some, praise you to others. They'll tell you nice things that you want to hear. Um, they'll tell you things. They'll submit at times. They'll submit uh, to make you think that they've been humbled, that they're nice, that they've changed, um, or that they're a good person now. But that's all lies. It's an act. It's a very good act. And no matter how old they get, they get older, they get better at it. If they have, uh, if they're old people, if they have a sickness, if they're females, they use whatever they can to fool people, to make people into thinking that they're the victims. Poor them. And that they're right. And that they are to be served. They, uh, everything has to be their way. If you just look, stop and, um, if the people who allow themselves to be enabled and to be, and you'd have to be really, I mean, you can't see inside of a person, inside their brain, inside of their body. You see, you know, how they act, what's displayed by the human, crying, laughter, etc. But, um, so, so we only have so much to work with, but they use human's ability, the human condition. Before I get to that, they're thieves. They steal and they take advantage from the good of humanity. Whether they be a mother, a father, brother, sister, grandparent, they steal and they take from the good of humanity. And they think that they're going to get away with it and that you're not going to do nothing. And, 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 and no, you're not going to do it with me. I have a cousin who the other day tells me she wants to jump in front of a train, that her mother is evil, that her mom's always calling the cops on her, that she's damaged, that she's traumatized, that she'd rather throw herself in front of a train. People get to that point that they start doubting themselves. They start questioning themselves. Like, yeah, something's wrong with me. What's wrong? I mean, all this is happening to me. I must, I must have done something to merit this, to deserve this. They try to break you mentally, psychologically, spiritually, in the inside, whatever you want to call it. They try to break that so that the rest follows because they're cowards themselves. If you're not part of the problem, you're... Sorry, you know the saying, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. <laughs> Who lets these people get away with it? Who lets these disgusting things that, they, that, that we call human beings take advantage of animals? They hurt animals. They hurt the earth. They hurt their family members. They hurt their children. They hurt their grandchildren. They hurt their great-grandchildren. They call them evil little things, evil. Who calls a little baby evil? And like I said, who believes them? Who would believe? I mean, you got to do your homework when you're dealing with human beings. You just can't take their word for it as 100% fact, 200% fact. You got to find out from the other person what's going on and find out where's the truth. Because the truth is there, but we got to seek it out. It's not always, uh, that's become one of my frustrations out of this life, that the truth, you have to fight for the truth. 
You have to seek the truth. You have to know when you're amongst the truth and to show proof, to show the truth to the everyone else to see, see, I can prove to you that it's true what I'm saying because there's people I'm sure, um, for instance, who tell the truth and something that comes upon a situation and uh, they did something maybe they weren't supposed to and they use the fact that they've been known for telling the truth and that people will believe them and they lie. So a very truthful person will always tell you, don't just take my word for it. I will prove it to you. Don't believe me. Go and see for yourself so that you know it's the truth. Don't take my word for it. Go and find the truth or hear there's proof of what I'm saying. Because we care about the truth so much. It's bigger than us. It's before us. The truth is bigger than us, than people who are truthful. And I have learned also something that you can't be truthful with everybody. Not with the people who are trying to hurt you and break you and turn you into what they are, or if not worse. That, that's been a hard reality of my life that I've learned, not expecting that. Uh, okay, um, I'm still filming. I always thought that you were supposed to, and I wanted to, right? You want to be truthful to everybody. Always be just, why wouldn't you want to be? I mean, what right-minded person wouldn't want to be tr tr truthful and honest about anything and everything with anybody? You always, you know, for people who, for people who look for the truth, who seek the truth, who want to learn, um, like myself, so I can speak for myself. That has been the case. But once you start, once you notice, and it's real to you by one way or the other, that the people around you, family members, who you thought maybe loved you, cared about you, were looking out for you, whatever, that these were actually people, the very people who were trying to hurt you, who are hurting you. Meaning like the world's probably, you know, in some cases, maybe the one could argue that the world, the outside world ha is better than some Im immediate family members. So I've learned that you cannot be truthful to everybody or just anybody because they're just looking to hurt you. They're looking to hurt you and to find your weaknesses and control you. Horrible world to live in, in my opinion, which is why I never had kids and I never will have kids. I have to suffer the world because of my parents' mistakes that they were put in situations that they were put into by their parents. Um, so I'll, I'll have to deal with that. But I won't bring something into this world that I love. And if something was to happen to me, I wouldn't be able to, and, and if I wasn't, be, uh, and if I wasn't able to be there any longer, something would happen to me or, the, or, 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 or my partner. Um, I couldn't live with that. And then have him look at me and say to me, why did you bring me into a world if you knew the world was like this and you didn't like it yourself? Those are the very questions that I told my, my parents. Um, so I cannot do that, and I will not do that. That's still how I think, and it's and I've and that's only been more and more reinforced every year, and by every situation, and by every revelation, and especially of the family members that I have. Mm -mm. No way. Trust them. Who's going to be their uncle, aunt, grandmother, grandfather, mother, uh, grandfather, grandmother? Uh, uh. No way. No way can they be trusted with such a precious thing as innocent life. Never, never it cannot be trusted. It's amazing how much loyalty the evil in this world has as opposed to good. The loyalty that comes with the people and everything that's wrong about this world, the loyalty in contrast to the people who do the right thing, 
who are courageous, who stand up for victims, who protect the animals, who protect the earth, who protect their fellow human beings, who speak the truth. Too much loyalty to the other side. And I ask myself always why, trying to look for that answer. How is it so that how is it that that side has so much loyalty? For whatever the reason may be, economical reasons, because then themselves too will have to face hardship. You know, they don't want to be in problems. They don't want to have problems. Cowards. Yeah, but you do want somebody to protect you when you're suffering, when you're being victimized, when you're being bullied, when you're being abused psychologically or physically. So it's not a two way street for some people, for some humans. No, man. You got to stand up for yourself. If you're in a situation where you're down and you're still broken and you're dealing and you're and you're a victim and you're being abused psychologically and or physically and you're only there because you have to be in that situation whether because of economical reasons, money, shelter, emotional situation, you know, if you cannot yet be out in the world on your own, especially with, with, with what's going on right now, if you cannot swim, you will drown. If you cannot swim, you will drown. So you got to fight back. You got to speak up and tell people what's going on around you. You got to tell people who's hurting you, what are they doing, and record it. Video record it so you have proof that What's going on around you is true, so you can show people. Because proof is everything. Proof is everything. Don't let them break you down. Build yourself, little by little. Get up. Take care of your oral hygiene, of your mouth, your teeth. Shower, your presentation. Eat so you get strong. Educate yourself. Learn. Always learn. Put yourself around good people if you can, that are like-minded, that are like you, that are honest, good people. And as soon as you can, as soon as you can make it a reality and you can get out on your own, do it. Don't look back. They're never going to change. They only get worse and worse and worse. I've tried in my situation. I've spoken up doctors, authority figures, you name it. <laughs> and it's amazing how many cowards there are in this world. And, um, and I just like to study history. I've learned a lot about history a little bit. And you look at other people in history and their times and their troubles, the things that they had to go through in their period of time. And um, you have to learn from that. It's, it's a benefit that we learn from that. The reality of life. It gets lonely. It gets real lonely sometimes. Because it gets lonely because um, then you become very cautious of who you can trust, who you let in your life under false pretense, you know, under false pretense. They pretend to be one way because they see something about you that they like and that's a benefit to them. So you have to be real careful, which is what I try to do, but it comes with a consequence. You're alone. You're alone. So then that's when the question, well, why be alive if you're alone then? And if it's only going to, you know, you get older and older, then you get old and, yeah. Emotionally, it could get ugly. <sighs> but no matter what, you can't let, you can't let them break you down even more than what they have. And you can't let them get away with it. You have to fight for yourself. You have to. 
speak up for yourself. You have to build yourself again. Treat yourself right. All, right, all that garbage that they put in here, you got to try to use it as fuel. Fuel to be strong and to be stronger. Because they're cowards. They're weak, pathetic, with a lot of power. Because they manage to lie and manipulate. And anyone in their right mind, how would they put up with that crap? How can they still be under their control and enable these toxic garbage cockroaches? Gives cockroaches a bad name. Roaches a bad name, excuse me. That they wouldn't defend the victim. They will defend the predator. That's a sick person who would do that. A sick person that would do that. Protect the people who hurt innocent people. Who hurt animals. Who hurt the earth. So for anybody who's out there, think about all the people in time. Think about people who don't, who really, I mean, who, who you never hear about. Who are victimized at this very moment somewhere in the world. One could argue that somebody is being victimized. Someone's being raped. Someone's being abused mentally and or physically, sexually. In one way or another. And let's not forget about hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years ago. People that have died in asylums, mental asylums, when they should have never been there, in hospitals, in prisons, in the, in the dark, by themselves, malicious things that were done to them. Poor them. Poor them. So we, we who are alive right now, in this period of, of the existence of life, we have to build ourselves and be strong and do the right thing and be part of the solution and not let these garbage, toxic, coward, disgraceful human beings that are called narcissists. And there are different types of narcissists, but these evil, malicious, psychopaths, sociopaths, liars, Wolves, wolves in sheep's clothing, wolves in sheep's clothing. Can't let them get away, get away with all the damage and the destructive harm that they do, the harm that they do to their family members, to strangers, to the animals of this world, to the world itself in general. You can't let them. We won't let them. I won't let them. You got to fight for your rights. Fight for the good. The good that is in you and that is in us and that is a part of this world. Because it is a fight between good and evil. So, stay focused. It's not easy. Keep learning. Have a plan, make a plan. Try to really record everything about your life so that you have proof. Take care of yourself physically, orally. Eat well, get strong. And try to get out of the situation as soon as possible. So that they can't do any more damage to you. Because it just keeps adding up and adding up. Build yourself. Get out of it. And open your mouth. Don't stay quiet. This cousin of mine, like I told you, her, she told me that her mother and father are always telling her to keep quiet. Don't tell anybody. Don't make us look bad. Don't make us look bad. So they want the whole world to have a false image of what's going on so that they look good. Meanwhile, they're victimizing their daughter. Their daughter drinks, uh, one could say is an alcoholic because she's even told me about rehab and stuff like that. 
And she even told me that she had to call me back a little bit later because she was about to order some more liquor. Um, this is what this is what she uses to help herself. Now, I'm not judging anybody about what they use and what they choose to help themselves mentally and physically. So I, I, I understand and I don't criticize or judge that. But that's what they want you to do. They want you to keep quiet, not tell anybody. So nobody knows all the ugliness that they're doing, all the ugliness that they are. Because if there was a camera on every single person 24 7, 24 7, or let's put it, you know, 25 8, eight days of the week, 25, 25 hours every day, right? Which is, right? 24 7, if there was a camera, a video or camera on every single person, everybody would act different. They wouldn't be acting the way they're acting towards their children, their loved ones, another human being. It changes everything once the flashlight is on you. They're cowards. People who hurt other people and who lie are garbage and cowards. Don't let them continue breaking you down. Build yourself. Get out of that situation. Stay strong. Protect the animals. And I love you. Take care. Be strong.